a seemingly harmless tree, but hiding within the branches of this tree is a snake doing what snakes do best, avoiding confrontation. This poisonous vine snake would rather avoid detection, and camouflage is a very effective method. Otherwise, a visual method of avoiding confrontation might work, and if a bright red tongue doesn't do the trick, then a bit of puffing up will work. The spitting cobra uses its flared head to ward off enemies, and only if that fails will it resort to the famous spit. A dead snake? Better keep your distance. Because it's just playing, and this cobra is deadly. The puff adder got its name from just that. It huffs and it puffs, and it can blow you away if it bites you. Snakes look like they're moving fast, but that's because they undulate. Few can actually top nine kilometers an hour. This snake's best form of defense and attack is the way it moves up and around trees. The tiger snake winds its way just as fluidly in trees as on the ground. It goes into four-wheel drive to climb the vertical, gripping bark with small belly scales, and looking as if it's done this all its life, which it has. Its ability to conquer most terrains has allowed it to get into the perfect ambush position. A skank has no clue of the impending danger. All snakes use their tongues to collect information. Scent molecules that land on it are passed on to the Jacobson's organ in the roof of the mouth for analysis. A very advanced system too. As the skank is about to find out. And before the skank can react, he is halfway down the snake's throat. And importantly for the snake, his glottis, a breathing pipe, is not blocked, allowing him to breathe unimpaired. The cobra flares in alarm. Something has disturbed it. A field mouse. Being an opportunist, the cobra now sees a potential meal and proceeds with stealth. Cold-blooded snakes need it warm and do best in the tropics, where temperatures are steady. But the temperature is perfect for this cobra and he moves in for the kill. He has bitten the mouse and injected it with a deadly poison. Now it must wait for the venom to take effect. The mouse finally dies, and the cobra moves in to swallow it whole. Snakes have to swallow their food whole. They have no claws to rip it up, or teeth to chew it to bits. To enable them to do this, snakes have incredibly flexible skulls and body. Its bones are only loosely held together by very stretchy ligaments, so the head can balloon out. Prey nearly always goes down head first to follow the way fur or scales lie. It's just that much easier to swallow. Save for a few bits of fur, the mouse will be entirely digested. Now the snake must reposition its fangs and its jaws. A snake's deadly enemy, a monitor lizard. The cobra has seen its big and bulky monitor lizard cousin and knows it's not come for a friendly visit. The snake's already up in arms about it. The monitor straightens its legs, looking taller and tougher as it weighs up the risks. Lizard is bigger than cobra, but this cobra shows no sign of backing down or running off. A lunge from the snake gets a tail swipe from the monitor in reply. That's its chief line of defense. And again. 
stalemate between two well-matched reptiles. With self-preservation first and foremost, and both sensing this is a fight they might not win, they wisely both go their separate ways. Oh, <laughs> 